we first identified players around the age of 13, right through to the age of sort of 18 for the junior academy, and then up to sort of probably 22, 23 year old for their involvement in the senior academy. John Pendlebury is the academy manager, and he oversees sort of all the program and all the age players. I sit just beneath him, looking at 13 to 16 year old age groups. We then got a, a couple of coaches, Matt Everard and Andre Massey, who work with the under 18 squad. They also filter up and working alongside John and the first team coaches with the senior academy group. I absolutely love playing here. Dai Sami's a player and then Sami back as a coach, so you know, I've got an awful lot of respect for him and what he's achieved in his career. And then to obviously work with Mazzo, a gorgeous Italian man every day, you know, I'm not going to turn down. He's a fantastic coach. He's very technical and he loves planning, I love planning too, so I think we are very complimentary. He's a legend and you know, the man's been to four World Cups, so the experience he's gained from playing is absolutely invaluable, it's amazing. You know, his passion, he drives very, very high standards of himself and everyone else. I love working together, so it's good. Good bromance. He's serious bromance, mainly me to him, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> we run a programme called the Developing Player Programme, so that's regionally based, so we have a venue in Oxfordshire, we have one in Buckinghamshire and we have one in Warwickshire as well and they run for 13s, 14s and 15 year olds and we probably have in the region of sort of 400 players involved in that sort of programme. At that age we try to focus on kind of four core skills, so looking at your catch pass, your tackle tech, breakdown and carrying and keep it very very simple and then as they get older we'll look to more kind of positional stuff and what their body type is, where they might play in the team. The senior academy will do pretty similar to the first team guys, maybe a little bit more simple. So they are all playing the same kind of brand of rugby, just the levels of detail are maybe slightly different compared to the age. Once a week we're training with the first team and uh, it's great for the senior academy to train with some of the best players in the world. The senior guys are great actually, they're very, very uh, encompassing with the young guys. They recognise that the better those young guys do, the better the club will do in the long term. Schoolboy rugby's moved a lot since I was at school, that's for sure. It's actually a very, very high standard now, so we get about as much as we can. Also, the school coaches are good. So the earlier we can ID them, the more time we have with them, the more contacts we get with them, and then hopefully by the time they are 17, 18, they've kind of evolved a little bit to the wash way. Some of them do have you know, a pretty good mix of their education, and we've got you know, one lad who's def definitely wants to become a doctor, whether he come, becomes a doctor before he's done some rugby or after he's done some rugby. You know, he's, he wants to go away and study as well, so um, you know, we've, we do have to balance everyone's needs and individual requirements with it. There are players with physical qualities but also good people. I mean, this is one of our priorities, try to develop players but also men. We try to embed kind of some core values in the under-18s that they actually chose. So hopefully by the time that they're playing for the first team, those values that they're kind of living by and are then doing as, as senior players. What kind of values are they? Uh, enjoyment excellence, work rate and ambition were the four they came up, which I think sums up was pretty nicely the way they play. We've got a really good strong group, we've had five selected in the under 18 squad so there's a fair few players to keep an eye on. Our under 18 group at the moment for me are a pretty special group and some exciting individuals coming through and then the senior academy group has got much bigger and that's due to Kev Harmon and John Pendlebury and the quality that we've had come through. Players who they might have you know, seen a few years ago training with the under 18s team when they were in the under 15s and under 16s and now up playing first team rugby at the Rico so it shows the pathway works and you know it gives them something to aspire to and you know, if we can have more homegrown players like those guys it's fantastic for the club.